optics as a field is sort of tough to explain to people. People want to think about eyeglasses, maybe some people know about telescopes, but not many people will come and say, oh, you know, fiber communication or optical communication, you know, that's optics. So even though it's sort of this specialized field, it touches so many other different fields from you know, the lighting in the room that you're sitting in to the display on your cell phone to sort of the connectivity um, that you experience between all these devices. Our mission here at the College of Optical Sciences at the University of Arizona is to create talent, to educate students, to contribute to the field of optics. We do that through an incredible research program. Optical physics involves many fundamental studies of the nature of light, the nature of matter, light-matter interaction. The spirit of invention happens in all of the labs around here, whether it's fundamental physics or applied optics or photonics or image science. Students working with their hands and putting optical elements together and sending laser beams all around the table and trying to spend a few years getting something to work. And then it starts to work in a way that it's never worked for anyone ever before is pretty cool. The goal of the SCION project, which is the Center for Integrated Access Networks, is to increase the capability of the internet by a thousandfold. The SCION project is led by the University of Arizona and includes about a dozen other universities uh, throughout the world. The College of Optical Science is intrinsically interdisciplinary. No single discipline can solve a problem that's very interesting anymore. We are designing and building imaging systems from the ground up. And a lot of those imaging systems uh, are preclinical imaging systems for small animal studies. Uh, and those are being used by biologists and other researchers to do studies into things like Alzheimer's disease, uh, cancer detection. One of the biggest joys of my job is seeing them be able to take on projects on their own, to come up with ideas on their own and execute those ideas. If you're interested in optics, if you're interested in imaging, the College of Optical Sciences at the University of Arizona is the place to come. My research is on 3D display technologies and imaging science technologies. This is truly a great place to go to graduate school. We teach them the theory, we give them the tools, and then we set them the rules to discover and invent. Here at the University of Arizona, there's an appetite for big science. We make not just big mirrors, but mirrors that have some difficulty that nobody else can make. We're making right now two big mirrors. One is the Giant Magellan Telescope primary, and it's made of seven pieces, each one of which is eight meters across. When we started this project, nobody had ever made anything like this before. When I first came, I heard this alumni coming back doing presentations, and they say, this is the center of the universe. And if you think about it, we're manufacturing astronomical telescopes. In a sense, we're, we're gonna use to probe the whole universe. There's no place else in the world. No people can do the same thing. It would make me really proud. These students, when they leave, they are really highly sought after because they've been through this. They've taken technology from an idea to something that I'll call hardball engineering. And so they're ready to go. I actually received job offers from five aerospace companies. The research that's been done here uh, has impacted the world, but what is bigger than that would be our graduates and how our graduates have impacted the world. I'm working on designing and fabricating holographic optical components to improve the performance of solar energy systems. I've been able to um, put an invention disclosure and a patent application together on one of my ideas. There's a great entrepreneurial spirit here. There's even a class called Photonics Innovation to Marketplace that gives people with an engineering background some of the business knowledge needed to turn their ideas into products for people. From the beginning, we have worked very closely with industry. We have an industrial affiliate program that companies join. They get to know the students and they follow the students along during their career here. And then, of course, they try to hire them when they graduate. It's a wonderful thing. Talented and prepared graduates are, are key to the industry. We rely on the talent that comes out of the University of Arizona's College of Optical Sciences. The University of Arizona is the premier school out there, and we have the good weather. Every year at graduation, I tell our students that they're the Jedi Knights of Optics. They're gonna go out and change the world. Everything we do here, it's all about the students. 
The students are what make us successful. We're incredibly lucky at OSC to have a community of supporters who are creating endowed scholarships that will support all of our PhD students in their first year. It's an incredible opportunity to spend their first year really scanning the horizon to figure out what they want to do. That's one of the things that makes this place amazing. People are following their passions. These scholarships were made possible by Jim Wyant. He made the largest scholarship gift in the history of the University of Arizona just for optical sciences. Happy anniversary, OSC. Congratulations. Happy 50th, College of Optical Sciences. Happy, Happy 50th, OSC. Congratulations. Congratulations.